I'm Allison. I'm Gabby. And this is Tough Questions with Strangers. This is a brand new man on the street show where we get to the core of humanity. No small talk, no fluff. Just tough questions. That was good. Yeah, I think people will like this. When you hurt someone, do you take responsibility or do you deflect blame? I take responsibility. Every time? Not every time. How big of a phony are you? A phony? Um, uh, I don't know. That's what? a really tough question. Do you find yourself lying a lot? Uh, I've got children, so yeah, I lie. I lie a little bit. Things like the Tooth Fairy, Santa Claus. Do you think that your kids would call you a phony? Uh, no, I don't think so. They don't quite, they're still kind of small. So but they if they, they were older? Really, when they get older, they will think I'm a phony, yeah. That's really beautiful. Sometimes art answers the questions we can't vocalize. Why haven't you let it go? I don't know, man. It's, it's a really hard thing to let go. I've got a lot of deep feelings attached to it. It involves my childhood. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yes! <laughs> Do you carefully consider people's suggestions before dismissing them? Yeah. Oh, I'm a pretty hard-headed person, so if I kind of already have an idea up in my head that I don't want to believe in something, most of the time, by the time they have their suggestion out, I'm probably not going to, you know, I've already dismissed it for the most part. So you don't want anyone's advice on anything? Not too much, no. Maybe you could work on that. Maybe I could. As a prank. Do you want to be in a video? It's just one minute. No, thank you. Are you sure? Do you want to be in it? You look so like you want to be your in scooter? it. If you're being truly honest with yourself, how strong is your confidence and self-worth? Oh, yeah, it depends on the day. It's strong most of the time. It's, it's gotten, gotten better. It, since turning um, 24, I guess I would say I love myself more. How did you get there? Oh, a breakup. Oh, yeah? I broke up with um, my boyfriend of six years, and I realized that like I needed to be alone for a little bit, and just realizing, like, hey, own yourself and love yourself and be a dork and just live in that space. You should host this show. Oh yeah, my I gosh, to say, he's but better than us. Do you think that you love your partner or are you just settling? Um, I just started dating someone, so I don't really know if love is the thing yet, but um, he's pretty cool. Have you settled in the past? Yes. Why did you? Honestly, to this day, I don't know. <laughs> you gotta know your worth. Yeah. 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 You I'm gotta sure. know if, uh, I'm getting a lot of real feelings right now, I gotta go. <laughs> Is there anyone you're angry or resentful towards? Oh, there are, yeah, there could be a couple people, yeah. Maybe okay. just the one. Why? She, she's a backstabbing ex-friend. Oh no. Oh, those are the yeah. worst. Do you think you'll be able to let those feelings go and forgive her? Her, no. Wow, isn't it healthier to let it go? I do support that. I do support that. So I actually, I don't wish her negativity. I just wish her positivity away a, from in you. In a parallel to me. Wanna be in a video? You wanna do a video with us? Um, we love the food. How often do you lie? Oh, every day. What is your most hypocritical trait? Aw, oh, damn. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> damn, we, I feel like we're all hypocrites. Do you ever tell your friends? not to do something and then you do it? Yeah, definitely, all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I'm like, don't do drugs, kids, and then I go and smoke it away, like, 10%. Oh, weed doesn't count. Do you think that since we've become friends, you've lost a part of yourself? Yes, but I don't think it was a good part. Tough questions. <laughs>